Um, so a little bit about me. I uh, I was a radio producer and I joined BBC Trending about a year ago. Uh, if you don't know what BBC, BBC Trending is, that's fine, we'll forgive you. But basically it's the bit of the BBC that looks at what's trending on social media. So we, we find stories that are being shared in places that perhaps people are not accessing through regular media and we share that and sort of amplify that for other people. So big trends like Bring Back Our Girls, obviously um, deaths, big global events, but also small ones, so strange trends like why the word spinach might be trending in Myanmar and why that's, why that's important to you. Uh, it's also a very multi-platform team. So we have a blog, we make videos, we have a radio programme, which is what I was working on, and also big concentration on social media and pushing our content through social media. So trying to innovate a little bit on platforms like Vine and Snapchat. Uh, now Trending sits under a banner which is Digital Current Affairs, which is a new banner in the BBC and it's growing. So it started, uh, it started by looking really at what Digital Current Affairs can offer for places like Trending. So where, where can we reach audiences that are not being reached just regularly by the BBC. Um, we're also looking at what the current affairs offering for BBC Three is going to look like when that goes exclusively online in 2016. We've also started recently working closely with other teams in the BBC, so for example Panorama who have been out following the roots of migrants across Europe. Um, our senior engagement producer, Ravin Sampat, who's the table hero, he went on the road for a couple of weeks with John Sweeney, the, the presenter, and Andy Bell, the producer, uh, as they made this. And he basically created alongside a Snapchat documentary. So he was capturing what John Sweeney was doing, interviews, actuality, sharing that on Snapchat and just sort of BBC panorama. And lots of people were engaging with that. That got picked up and talked about quite a lot. And they're actually going to create a sort of eight, nine minute documentary out of that content for uh, to share online. I think it's going on BBC News's YouTube and Facebook page. Um, and also something that will make the video journalists amongst you shudder because it was all shot vertically. The whole video <laughs> is going to be a vertical video. So do have a look out for that. I think that'll be quite interesting to see how that works and how that works, especially on, on mobile platforms. So I am currently working under this digital current effects banner on a project called Times 2. And that's a collaboration with, like Jeremy said, ABC in the States. So it's two broadcasters coming together to explore how current affairs can be delivered in a digital space. It was just quite quickly set up. It was, the idea was, let's get going. Let's just try an experiment here and see how it evolves. Um, so the first clip will give you a little bit of an idea of what Times 2 uh, is about. We're told there are 250 people squeezed down here. If you wait 36 hours, half the boat will be dead. It's like a ticking time bomb. I love you! We are the generation!